called Old, dedicated to me, naturally. <laughs> and the band are Machine Head, and from the band we have Robert Flynn and Aru. I can't. I, I want you to say it. Aru. Aru, because yeah. I've never heard it said before, so I think, oh, I don't know what to say. Like, Aru, nice to meet you. Nice kangaroo. 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 Oh, kangaroo. Love the t-shirt. All right. Good for British television, I tell you. Yeah. Supercharger, fourth album. Some of the albums have had, in fact, the first album, when it came out, got an enormous amount of praise. Mm -hmm. Enormous. In fact, in 1994, about that it was uh, praised as being one of the best debut albums ever. Then the next two got a little bit of, dis you know, dissent. Some people good some people said no yeah, that's good why was that do you think were you desperately trying to change a style or were you um i mean i think from a from a media standpoint it was a little bit like that i know on the street and when i was talking to kids and when we'd go tour um i mean we sold more records we sold more merchandise and we sold twice as many concert tickets so i mean i guess from a media profile it was different but that was the other side of it so. so okay so the message there is media man talk bullshit <laughs> yeah fair enough yeah yeah this one this one you recorded though in analog right in this great digital age when everything is digital you decided to hell with that we're going back to basics yeah it was cool we did uh actually we did the burning red fully analog too and um a lot of bands these days are using Pro Tools, yep. which is, you know, you don't really have to be able to play good as long as you can play the riff right once. They could just cut and paste it. But Machine Head's all about, you know, the live energy and the, the, the human quality of the music. And we just felt like analog was the best way to capture that. Like, with, I mean, Dave did all his drum tracks without even, within no fixes. And that's like unheard of these days. Mm -hmm. And and it sounds great. What is the difference though in a studio environment? Is there any difference at all when you're recording it analog to digital? Um, I mean the only thing is is like you don't have the ability to fix as many things you right. know like with with the stuff that he's talking about with Pro Tools you can pretty much make anything perfect and uh, when you're doing it analog it's like you just don't have that ability so you you got more mistakes and you know we're not the uh, necessarily the greatest players on earth but uh it, i think it just makes it uh, like to me like when i put on those old black sabbath records it's like i feel like i'm in the same room with yeah. the band you know you can hear them breathe in and you can hear like the mistakes and just like Dropping little mistakes. slurs yeah and, and sort of i love that you mm. know and i just i dig that and i think that that's what comes across when Machine Head records like that, like you get that feeling mm -hmm. when the band, Dave too, like uh, me and Dave when we tracked everything, we would try to nail it within like three or four takes and if we didn't get it in that three or four takes, like we'd come back to it like the next day, but just to keep that like energy, you know, not get burnt out on it when you were recording it and just, you know, super high frantic stuff. So, there so was a it's couple really like recording as live. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. And, and try and capture that, you know, as best possible. And um, it was, I mean, you can hear it, like there's a couple of places where I'm like, you know, out of breath going into the next line and it's like, I'm really out of breath, you know, mm -hmm. so we going in. It was cool. It was fun. I always like to ask this of musicians, successful musicians, what do you listen to now? What gives you a bit of a buzz when it hits your CD player? I listen to I listen to all kinds of music, uh, new and old. I've been listening to the new system a lot. Toxicity, it's good. It's really it? cool. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty good. Uh, the I've liked at the drive-in. That's pretty good. I mean, I, I dig them guys. And I've I've also been listening to like Led Zeppelin one, mm -hmm. and uh and some older stuff, The Cure sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm older totally stuff. the yeah. system. The new system records. It's rocking. a killer album. Yeah, it really awesome. is. I also, me and him both got into. Possible. Keep going, Robert. Just both got into a, like a Led Zeppelin phase. Like I bought Led Zeppelin four for the first time. Like just hearing it for the first time ever, and uh, you know, other than Stairway to Heaven, so it was cool. What about that. touring, particularly around here in Europe? Pretty soon, like uh, November, we're coming yeah. over here. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Just got to get this in shot because I have. <laughs> I've actually yet to see this. This is the first copy I've seen. It's on the streets now. It is called Supercharger. What's it called? Supercharger. That's a good title for an album. Have one. Hell yeah. Thank okay. you. Machine Head. Robert free? Flynn. I, and free. And, <laughs> and free. Uh, but I hear you were a bit of an ogre. Somebody once said, this man is a hard man to deal with. You've been with him a long time. Is he? Uh, he has his moments, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> 
But who doesn't? You but know? who doesn't, exactly. Yeah. But he gets what he wants, right? That's what he's going to Gotta be focused and just go for it. But we're going to play Davidian now. Remember making this video? Yeah, totally, man. Okay. San Francisco. Here he comes. I was, I was actually in the audience in this video. This, we, oh, you were? In yeah. the audience? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we get a camera on you in this. Davidian coming up. <laughs> Machine Head. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Thank you.